So is this a foot fault technically if I'm in the air when I release it? It's an ace. Oh, you didn't. Come on! What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. We got Hugh Frisbin back. I know you guys have been a big fan of when I've featured him on the channel. He's got a new bag today, all loaded up with some good Frisbees. He's got a cold one as well. Just threw up an Instagram question box. We're gonna answer some questions, toss some Frisbees, and just chuck. Hugh Frisbin may or may not have some unreleased Frisbees in the bag, so you'll see some new flights today maybe. Oh, guys, I don't even know how to throw a backhand right now. Oh. That's it. I like that zone. Jeez. Beefcake? That's pretty good. Someone asked what camera and lens do you use? I use a Sony a6300 with a Sony 18-104 f4 power zoom. Drew uses a Sony a6600 with a 24-70 kit lens. Uh, a lot of people ask me what camera I use. That doesn't matter as much, guys. Invest in your audio first. Nobody wants to listen to a video that sounds like ass. Right, Drew? Right. Or should they just get their remotes out and just adjust as needed? I think they should just turn the volume up and down as needed with the <laughs> remote on the TV. That's what I err on the side of. We were talking about how his videos sounded like shit. And he was like, bro, I don't, I literally do not care. They can just use the remote and just adjust the volume. And now look at the guy. He's got the best quality content on YouTube. Nice. That was a good putt. How about this one? That was you, a good one. If you put like every other shot doubles, you'd be really good. I know. Hello and welcome to the 25 Days of Frismas presented by Birdie Disc Golf Supply. Birdie hooked it up by supporting the next 25 videos. Head on over to their website, use code Frisbee Club to save yourself some money. They got Frisbee Club patches, they got Frisbees, as well as my favorite mid range, the Color Glow Ultra. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. Had the day off work today, so joined the Frisbee Chucker. Uh, this guy's broad, whatever his name is. No. He invited me out though. You, he said on the channel you guys liked me, so. It's a good Thing's day. got some stabilization to it. Oh, birdie. What model of New Balances is Hugh, is Hugh wearing? Obviously the dad kind. Dude, Velcro. <laughs> He's got the Velcro. Hide your grandmas, guys. Or don't. Jump. I wish that your sidearm wasn't attached to a person that just wasted it. <laughs> what, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> it's just such a waste of such a good throw. Hugh, they asked, what do you enjoy outside of disc golf? Uh, You're just an average guy, so like football? Not a big football guy, <laughs> but I like motorsports a lot. Like driving things, racing things, watching races of any kind. Um, See, I'm a big golf guy. Big golf guy. I haven't been lately. I've been pretty busy, actually, between the two of us doing stuff and creating content and doing all that. But I would say that, like, one of my for sure hobbies that I make no matter what time for is golf. Um, and then just waxing broad out here is another <laughs> big hobby I have. Just making sure I'm always one step ahead, you know. Called it five minutes ago. Snuck it in. Hugh Frisbin. The man, the myth, the legend. Do people actually like play this game for a living? Yeah, they do. You can make a lot of money if you like took it serious. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wouldn't that be something? It would, wouldn't it? Dude, you didn't waste the sidearm. Nice 30. Shot. Did you just bring one putter? Yeah. <laughs> Classic chucker move. <laughs> As for me, I like to go to the good old music festival every once in a while, a concert. I'm a big cold brew guy, so I like, I like hitting up the local coffee spots like Salad and Go. <laughs> nah, I actually do. I'm a, I'm a cold brew. Oh God. Second day in a row, I've almost died on these rocks back here. I'm an absolute slut for some cold brew, guys. Just black. Yeah, other than that, I don't know. I like to, uh, Watch Down for Love on Netflix. It's a really good show. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely go check that one out. I'm just gonna say, Broad's opinions and <laughs> reflections aren't me. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I hate coffee. 
Oh my, Hugh Frisbee might get his first ace. Oh, wow. Yeah, so no, that's a hole that in, they do? that's um, what they call a hole in one. Yeah. If you make it on your first try. Yeah, <laughs> isn't oh, it crazy? Okay. What do they call yours when you make it on the third try? <laughs> that's just a par. par? Yep. Okay. Oh gosh, now we got the fucking Brady Bunch coming through. Just throw it over their head. It's supposed to be good, right? Supposed to be, key word. Four. <laughs> Oh, look at that, right in their backyard. All right, somebody asked, what about the buzz makes it better than other popular mid-ranges? I mean, I think I think that it's, like, obvious that, like, a disc is only as good as, like, you can throw it or it feels in your hand. So I think that just for me, the buzz just, like, fit well into my hand. Like, it, I'm not going to go and say it's, like, any better than the rock or the whatever because I'm sure Barry Schultz would like the rock better than the buzz. You know, it just kind of depends on what fits in your hand and... I like the fact that I can throw the buzz and have the same mold in the rock. I never liked the like premium plastic discs. I always like the old KC Pro or DX and they just beat up fast. Throwing the buzz, I was able to use the premium disc, which just allowed me to have a beat up disc that like just stayed beat up forever because the more I hit the trees and shanked, because I am Hugh Frisbin, the more it didn't change. So for me, it was just about able to use premium plastic discs um, instead of having to cycle through all my KC Pro or DX and have a reliable disc that I can continue to believe is going to either be stable or understable to a reliable extent. Wow. Hugh Frisbin seems to know a lot more about this sport than he like lets on, so. All right, here goes Broad. He thinks he's a good putter now all of a sudden. He's figured out his finger position. But we'll see if he actually lives up to the hype. Okay, high is better than shank. That's money. Oh, it's too good. Talk to you later. That was too good. How many hours of Frolf's tubing have you put in to get to the skill level you're at right now? Tens of thousands of hours. That's why I can throw shots like this. Right into someone's backyard. <laughs> or front yard. Someone's somewhere's yard. Someone in it. Oh, it's a birdie. Oh. Touch him. Come on, baby. Oh. Am eyes. That's a birdie. What, you think it's not? I don't know what to think, man. I don't know either. You keep me on my toes. <laughs> Guys, Hugh Frisbee over here, he's thinking about starting a YouTube channel, just posting once a week, nothing too serious. You know, he's gonna keep his full-time job. What do you guys think? Should Hugh start up a YouTube channel? Let me know. I wanna make this one for all the blue collar workers like me. If Hugh makes this, he's starting a channel. Oh no, sorry guys. My great grandpa owns Infinite Discs, so if you guys are disc golf fans and wanna buy some disc golf stuff, make sure you go to infinitedisc.com. Use code DREW23 to save yourself 10% on your whole order. Somebody asks, what advice would you give for somebody who's trying to work through an injury but still wants to play? No one asked that. They actually did. <laughs> if it is not your job to play disc golf, don't fucking play and heal. But now we're here, sucking at froth. You just aced though. That tree that's 50 short on this 285 foot hole with a distance driver. <laughs> Guys, go get your intervals. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? How's thought... that the same guy that threw both of those throws? <laughs> I thought that was in. Me too. Oh, get in the chains. Woo! Yippee ki -yay. In all seriousness though, if you do not have to play frolfs in order to like make an income and you're injured, just don't play until you're not injured anymore. Just heal up. Cause you're only gonna get worse. Like I'm the worst I've ever been at disc golf right now simply because I've been injured for so long but I just continue to play. And it has not made me any better. 
and it's not as fun. You could have two months of like hating yourself every day and be like, oh, I want to go throw Frisbee so bad. But just give those two months of rest and you'll get back and you won't have to think about being injured every time you're out chucking. You just get to go have fun again. So that's what I would do. You're a natural at this game, dude. Thanks. I can't believe you started playing this year. This is a good hole where you could possibly get an ace. Okay. And then your coworkers would be just thrilled. Thrilled. Like they'd see you on YouTube. They'd probably think you're famous. Wow. All 2,000 views. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you Frisbee's worse than Drew Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a new Reddit thread <laughs> called You Frisbee's a Dick. How about that throw? Yeah. That throw was pretty dicky. <laughs> Gosh. Oh. That was good. Somebody's close. <laughs> I thought that would go a little straighter, not gonna lie. Pretty much birdie. Pretty much, pretty much just a birdie. That thing is so flippy. Wow. Yeah, so that's a side hand. Finger pop is what they call those in the big leagues. Like that? Yeah. Did I do it right? Yeah. I know, I was watching YouTube earlier. Oh, this is the longest 171 feet ever. <laughs> I don't even think I've got one there yet. Check this out. It's a four-hand roller. <laughs> well, at least they won't need to call the maintenance company this week. <laughs> they just got a break on their HOA dues. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, just, I'll show you my favorite form I've seen on YouTube. <laughs> you ready? Yep. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. Some Someone I saw in there. <laughs> Not that you with names yet. Yeah. Oh. Oh boy. Man. <laughs> Come on. That's not bad though, Hugh. You're getting there. I feel like it just could be so much better. It could be. Just try and follow through a little bit more. Okay. You aced it. Congrats on your throw. <laughs> oh, metal. <laughs> nice rip. Thanks. That was sick, huh? There's more for, more where that came from. That was the best one I've ever seen yet. <laughs> oh, what do people say? That's nerdy? That's nerdy, that yeah. That was nerdy, huh? Yeah. yeah I knew it. The Hugh Frisbee. I knew it was nerdy. You gotta keep your body squared to the target. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> oh, my God. Get out of the way. Professional coming in. <laughs> Professional. I think that the good thing, it's like... Playing like big square hopscotch, you hop, hop from this one to this one and then oh. send it. It's kind of like a two in one type game then. It's like math. Yeah. Ah, a little too much power. Yeah. I think I had my form down there though. Yeah, yeah okay. for sure. All right. There you go. That's going to skip right in the chains. Okay, so that's how you oh. throw a forehand. <laughs> I tried to teach you, but you don't listen very good. Ah. Do you understand now? Yeah. Okay. That's good. You're supposed oh, oops. <laughs> You're supposed to learn by watching. That's what my art teacher told me in school. I think I'm on to something. I think you are. That's a birdie. So is this a foot fault technically if I'm in the air when I release it? It's an ace. No, you didn't. Come on! Man. You're on to something, Hugh. I was thinking so. You are on to something. I'll tell you that much. Oh. 
Dang. By the end of the week, I'm gonna have this down. Yeah. Next Monday. Okay. All right, well, I think we're washed up, huh? No, we got a couple more. Okay. Here, I got an idea. Oh boy. All right, guys, so this is when, you, when there's a low ceiling. That wasn't working. I thought it'd work a little better. I hope so. I thought it would work. <clears throat> Damn. All right, two putter shots. See it, Hugh. Put it in there. Whoo! Pressure's on. Man, I'm smooth today. Like a smooth criminal. Yeah. Whatever, isn't that Michael Jackson? I don't even know. That would have been sick. That's what they call a peach. Oh, over on the mean? Hugh Frisbee what's Club. Peach. Peach? It's like a fruit. Oh. Yeah. The only peach I've ever seen is like the emoji on the phone. Yeah, you that's what, what that it. Means. Yeah, that's what it means. It's my favorite emoji. I use it like all the time. Oh, what are you describing when you use that emoji? Peaches. Peaches. Okay. I'll be over here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> well, Hugh, any, any last words? I just want to thank, the, thank your people for watching us today. I'm going to make sure to go home and show my wife and kids this beautiful cinema you've made. And uh, hopefully I get a chance to be on the next one. Yeah, I'll definitely have you back up. We'll see how the comments react, but I think we could make it happen. Put you oh, on payroll, maybe. Just comments. Yeah. No, no, no. I can't read the comments. <laughs> I'm way too soft to read the comments. That's it. <laughs> I just made fun of all of you, disc golf YouTube. <laughs> and I just spilt my drink all over my butt cheeks. <laughs> uh oh. I thought that was more stable. Nope. Oh. Wood for till we drown. This is my fire feet. Pro. We hear word about the party. That's about 400 feet right there, guys. Let me show you another driving technique.